Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Have you seen the news? Did I miss it? I I totally missed it. I was working and then when I got done working, I looked on my phone and this. So let's look at it. Let's take a look at a bunch of new and exciting updates available now in The Sims 4. Choose the top left hexagon in the Sim molecule. Pick cause of death. Cause of death. A Sims death type can give them unique abilities as a ghost. This is available for child Sims and older. Toggle the new ghostly overlay button to review skin tone, hair, and outfit um, colors more easily. You can we can play as ghosts now. Type without losing or resetting your other progress. Your Sims will also react to death in completely unique ways based on Moment their of death and updates. to the Sim that passes. If your Sim I like them, that. They may react differently had they known them a long time. When your sim passes away, a pop-up appears that gives you the option to become oh, that's a coming. Or free roaming ghost. Urns and gravestones can now be used indoor or Urns and gravestones can now be used indoors and outdoors. Woohoo with Grim. We can woohoo with like Grim. <gasps> category in build mode filters content for weddings, Oh, that's handy too. And more. And lastly, turn your elder pets into ghosts in Create a Pets Sim. too. Game and explore these we can have ghosty updates. pets. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Um, so Sims will react differently to others' deaths based on traits and relationships. Experience everything from sobbing for a loved one passing to retching at a stranger's death. <laughs> okay, then. Ghosts can now be created, created and create a sim for child and elder sims. We're doing that. We're doing that today. Like here, right now. After passing, ghost sims will gain a new set of needs that pl in place of the classic living ones, including goo waste, ethereal substance, otherworldly slumber, spooky diversions, ethereal bonding, and apparition cleansing. At the moment of death, sims now can become playable ghosts. Upon the death of a marriage partner, two married sims will no longer be married. They'll be widowed. However, there's a new interaction that will allow them to ask to stay married. Oh, for life and death. Oh, that's, that's very sweet. Uh, so they can reinstate their marriage status. Sims can woohoo with the Grim Reaper again. Thank you. Improved autonomous ghost behavior, blah, 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 new life event category. Infant, toddler, and child sims taken by social workers go to the household menu in manage worlds rather than being deleted. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, added a new bonfire object. That's kind of random, but Okay. Um, there's a new option on gravestones and urns to manually swap one to the other, inside or outside. Added 10 new true black variants to shoes. That's nice. Um, if you have get to work, aliens, vampires, werewolves, rebels, realm of magic, so, uh, 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 island living, uh, or the life and death expansion pack, which isn't out yet, you can click on an sims urn or gravestone and choose a selection to... to of gravestones choose so you can pick what yours looks like i like that and the merfolk now have their own oh it's pretty too players can swap occults and create a sim if they have the necessary occult packs this doesn't remove progress on that sim who's currently being created within reason well that's kind of good i guess um players can create elder dog horse and ghost sims and create a sim Oh, that's nice. I like that too. And then a whole bunch of bug fixes that we don't care about. Okay, let's start playing. Playing with ghosties. I'm excited. Uh, no. Well, you're lovely. Uh, cause of death. If I do this, does she turn into a ghost? Or death by killer chicken? I didn't even know that was an option. Death by puffer fish, death by stink capsule, death by vending machine, death by urban myth, death by steam, 
Death by overheating. Death by meteorite. That's a pretty common one. That happens to me a lot, actually. Death by killer rabbit. <laughs> Death by laughter. Death by fire. I don't know. What should we pick? Um, Consumed by the mother plant. <laughs> Death by cow plant. That's also happened to me quite a few times. Death by a broken heart, maybe? Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so that's kind of helpful for, like, figuring out who we want. Alright, who looks like they would die from a broken heart? Her? She's pretty. She's floating. No big thing. Alright, let's maybe change her hair. I think she looks good with short hair. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I really don't care other than you're not wearing a hat to sleep. Her heart is breaking. Did you see that? Okay. Uh, aspiration. Wait, she can have the regular aspirations? Vampire... Sorcerer. I don't think she can be a sorcerer and uh can she? Can they? Wait a minute. Pick an occult. Spellcaster. Yeah, I don't think you can be a ghost and You can be a ghost spellcaster! Oh, we're doing that. Because I've never played with that either. Um, let's say, okay, so you died of a broken heart, so you're probably a love bug and romantic, and let's say you are, um, a little self-absorbed, perhaps? <laughs> I'm excited! Okay, my name is Caitlin. Caitlin the ghost, Tasha the ghost. Now, we need a good name, like, cat... Caprica, Casperica, uh, I don't know, ghost names, I don't have my phone. Agnes, Margo, Esme, what? We already have a Freya, Cora, Juno, Enid, Doris, Ophelia, Gwendolyn, Temperance, Temperance Brennan. Should we make her Temperance Brennan? I have been watching that show lately. Rowena. Aha. Uh Beatrix. -huh. Last name. Casper. <laughs> okay. Uh, she, her. Um, all right. I'm so excited to play with a ghost. I'm so excited to play with the ghost. I want to woohoo with Grim. And I also want to... Now, you guys, now I'm going to be playing with Vampire's Farmer, uh, my food family, and a ghost. That's four legacies that we're going. Maybe I'll give one up. But I don't want to give one up. Okay, Um, what makes sense for fall, of course... Halloween. Uh, Glimmerbrook. I don't really like Glimmerbrook, to be honest with you. But, so I was thinking, since she's a ghost, maybe we should bulldoze the lot, make her a little graveyard, like on the outside, and then I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Bulldoze lot. I've been thinking about this for like a whole 20 minutes. <laughs> since I knew I could do this, uh, put a lot of thought into this. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. All right. All right. Hey, we achieved ghost. Um, can we make it brighter? Okay. So I'm thinking, I don't want a full graveyard. I just want, you know how like some graveyards have like a little shack in the, in the side? Shack is not the right word. Like a place where the, they keep the lawnmowers and stuff. But that's where a ghost is going to live. Because... You know, she's buried nearby, but she's a ghost. 
Don't listen to me. I'm crazy. That's a pretty good door. Don't you think? It's like stately. Do we have some stately windows? I'm not trying to take a lot of time with this. I really am not. I promise. Um, but we need at least a a, a window. But it has to be like it can't be that. That's ridiculous. I think they'd put lawnmowers in there. That's like more for a chapel, you know? Here we go. This is like what I mean. This is what I mean. It doesn't match the front though. Why not? Why can't things match in this game? Maybe we can change the front door so it matches better. We can make it all black. Do these come in black? That looks better. Here I am saying we're not spending a lot of time on this, and then... Okay. But I want it to be little, so we're gonna make it lower. Okay. Cool. And then... Put a little, little tiny roof on there. It's just gonna be a little tiny house. This one... Is there one that's like less? A little bit less? No. That's okay. We like this. I like this. And then, uh, roof trim, and then we'll make it stone, stony, 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 uh, and I clicked on the wrong one. It's not like, it's not exactly what I want. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I want. Perfect. It's perfect. Now. We are just simply going to be putting a few of these around for ambiance. Because it's an old graveyard. Oh, no, no, no. You know, they're kind of a little cockeyed and stuff. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, we need some trees. Some scraggly looking trees. You know, zhuzh up the place a little bit. I think this looks pretty good, personally. Um, I think I want another one of these trees over here. There. That's where we live. Isn't it lovely? So I made, like, this old decrepit graveyard thing. And I made it really fast, so don't, don't judge. I just want to play with the ghost. <laughs> Okay, and then inside our house, we're going to, obviously, it's a tiny house. Um, tiny house. Residential, yes. Oh, it's so small. We're going to have to, I don't know what ghosts need. Do they need to sleep? I guess we should find that out first before we go building in our little house. Oh, cool. Hi, ghosty. Hi, ghosty. She's cool. Okay, so she has to go to the bathroom, eat, sleep, clean. Ghosts need to use the shower. Um, they It's all the same things. Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay. Let's get her a little bed then. Camper bed. Yeah, maybe the groundskeeper. As a bed in here because you know he likes to take a nap sometimes he gets tired of doing his stuff and then I guess they have to eat it's okay we can get the mini fridge I like that and then I guess I should have done the bathroom at the back just a simple door and then we need a little toilet a shower, since apparently they need showers. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so that, she'll need a sink. She'll want to wash her hands. I feel like that's from, if you give a mouse a cookie, he'll want to wash his hands. Um, maybe that one. You can put a chair here and like a TV over here. And that's it. That's all she gets for now. She's going to go become a spellcaster anyway and haunt people. Yeah, so I think this definitely could have been the caretaker's place that she took over. He's like, I'm not going back in there. That place is haunted. She's like, darn right. Lights or candles? That's a question. 
This place would probably have lights. So we can... Have like a single bulb hanging down. Because that would be really the best, but we'll just use this. And then um, it would probably have a wood stone floor tile. Stone, maybe this. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that looks about right. And then the same, probably the same stone that's on the outside, on the inside. There we go. It's so cozy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what is this now? Talent points. Oh yes, spellcaster. Open spellbook. Spellcaster is defined by what you learn and study. So how does one do this? I don't know anything about this. But I also just want to play with her. So are there any people around? Ooh, there's a person. Let's introduce ourselves, shall we? Ghost scare. That's probably not a good way to make friends, but that's okay. Kind of handsome, too. Daryl Charm. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. Oh, that's funny. Friendly introduction. Oh, she's embarrassed. Oh, no. Um. Self-deprecating joke. I'm sorry. I'm a really a nice ghost. Talk about death. Oh, he's engaged. I guess she would get congratulate him on his engagement, wouldn't she? She can brag about her house. Is he a spellcaster? Oh, let's pass through him. Neutral attraction. So she's not attracted to him. Smart friends are good things. Oh, oh yeah. She just went through him. He liked that. That's kind of creepy. Travel with Daryl. Enter the portal. We've made it. So do we like... Read books? Oh, she's on a broom. I don't know what to do here. I've never done this before. And now I'm a ghost too, so that just adds some confusion to it. Okay, so what I'm learning is that being a ghost is very much like being a regular sim. You just have a few more extra abilities. But I do want to be a ghost spellcaster, so we're going to do that. See what you can find as your heart breaks. She can possess it? What does that mean? Ooh, that's kind of fun. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're all about witches. I need a book, though. Who's this? Why does he have a thing over his head? Uh, friendly introduction? Did we find anything yet? Glimmerstone. Oh, it's our own tombstone! <gasps> cool. Did she find one? I think she found one. Maybe we can ask somebody. Hi, nice to meet you. I need to know how to do a spell, please. Uh, fish for compliments? That's probably not the smartest thing to do right away. Um, um, magic? Ask... To teach practical magic, please? I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other first. Okay. Discuss interests. Uh, tell a funny story. Complain about problems. Ask for advice. Why is she sad? Heartbreak so deep it transcends to the afterlife. Oh, poor thing. Ask to teach me magic, please. Will you teach me a recipe? Oh, 
We got one potion. Oh, we learned a spell. Uh, zip zap? What's that? Oops. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Teach me more. Magic duel. Friendly duel. No? I don't know where I went. I'm gone. I'm over here. Are we dueling? Oh, <gasps> We might be dueling. Oh, here we go. Oh dear. I'm already dead, so he can't- it's not like he can kill me. Well, that's kind of cool. Did I win? Oh, maybe not. Whoa! Ah, uh, yeah, he won. But I got a talent point out of it. Um, blunder arm, potion crafting, knowledge is magic, read or computer research faster, or can cast discharge with empties a spellcaster charge. She could be a forger or an experimenter. Hmm. I guess knowledge is power. All right, so... I know that the life and death pack will have more. Did I just break that? I could repair it. Ghostly repair. I know that the life and death pack will have more to do with ghosts. Like, obviously, that's the whole point. And the whole reason they gave us ghosts early is because they want them to have for everybody. And then they want everybody to want more. So we buy the pack. But there's not much to ghosts. They're just ghosts. And they have all the same stuff and they can do a little bit more so like i'm happy that i can play as one definitely happy i can play as one especially in spooky season but i'm not blown away by it <laughs> but playing as a spellcaster is going to be fun and playing as a ghostly spellcaster is going to be fun too so i hope you stay tuned where we continue to play um i am still madly obsessed with my vampires at the moment though so they're probably going to um take up a lot of my time plus i have to get through the reaper's rewards and that's time so um thanks for tuning in i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later bye